Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire Go 15. This will be the AG15 series computers. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing, power down your computer through the start menu, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now there are 10 screws in this bottom case. After you remove those screws, you're gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool, and you're gonna go across the seam of the bottom case and pry it up from your computer. It's generally best to start near the rear, near one of the two hinge assemblies. I found it easiest from this middle section right here to start prying it up. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. Go nice and slow, but firm. And if you get stuck going in one direction, leave it. Go to the other side and continue in the other direction. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any of the replacement or upgrade components for this specific model, the AG1551P, there will be a link above, also below in the description, and it will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement parts. Now, before touching anything in a computer, it's always best to remove or at least unplug your battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. Here's your battery right down here. It's held in by these two screws on either side, and it plugs into the motherboard right here near the green arrow. Now, as with any cables or wires in a computer, avoid pulling on them when at all possible. Just manipulate the plug. So as you see here, there's a grip on either side, so you can use a pry tool or your fingernails to wiggle that out of that port right there. If you pull on wires or cables in a computer, you could damage them, and sometimes you can pull them right out of the plug. So it's always best just to work on the plug itself. This is your only storage port right here. This is a single M.2 PCIe NVMe. It takes Gen 4 2280 solid state drives. I will have all that information below in the description if you're looking for help with a replacement, but I will also include several replacement and upgrade options in that link I told you about with the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. I will have a 500 gigabyte solid state drive if you're just looking to replace a bad one and spend as little as possible but i will also have a couple upgrades if you're looking to upgrade i will have a one terabyte stick and a two terabyte stick and as a side note guys about these storage devices if you're looking for a quick little tutorial on how hard drives and various kinds of solid state drives are different uh, why some may be better in, in certain situations, I will have a video link below in the description and it will be that. It'll be a quick little intro tutorial showing you the various ins and outs of storage devices so you can learn them a little better. The way this solid state drive works, it's held in by a single screw right down here in the middle. Once you undo that screw, you can easily take it out of this port on the motherboard right there. And I guess the last thing to mention about a drive replacement, if you are installing a new drive to your computer, you may need to install an operating system onto it afterwards. I will have two different video links below in the description. One will show you how to install Windows 10 onto an Acer computer. The other will show you how to install Windows 11. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your Go 15 and access your storage. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just wanna keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.